Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new Laser Everything live stream. Chris is here. What's up, man? What's up? And uh, we're going to be unboxing his uh, Tether P10 today. You got it. It's a pretty big box. It's pretty big, pretty heavy, but yeah. you know, it's, it's manageable. Nice, nice. So yeah, yeah dude, let's, uh, let's rip into it and uh, just show us stuff as it comes out. All right, perfect. I'm assuming this side is up. This is the P10, I believe, not the P10 combo. They're priced fairly different. Uh, the combo comes with a rotary tool and an air assist kit, including the pump. Uh, but this is just the standalone version with the 10 watt uh, diode. It's $659. So it's a little cheaper than the uh, like the X tool that it's it's kind of mimicking. And uh, but it's pretty big, it's a 1430 by 1430 millimeter workspace, and uh, the accessories for it aren't that much more expensive, so we'll see what it comes with before we get too far ahead of ourselves. But yeah. we're getting there, no, it's all right, it's an unboxing, it's live, live unboxing, no rush, more time to chit chat about life and happy accidents and whatnot yeah so let's see the p10 659.99 the combo set that comes with the rotary and the air assist is 849 all right let me back up here a little bit pop that bad boy open oh, i see papers yes papers what do we got what's in there installation manual very nice. helpful. I How's the this. Uh, what's the English look like inside? Oh, let's see. Install the cable tie. Oh, it's pretty good. You can read it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, it's German. Also, I'm sure oh, there's like nice. a bunch of languages. Yeah. No, this is helpful. Just in case I need to speak German, and then a user guide uh, with pictures of. How to use a light burn and whatnot. That's actually pretty cool. Nice. Also, I keep enjoyable. unboxing it. Uh, have Blue asked if the 10 watt is actual optical power. I will look really quick and I will let you know. All right. This might be loud on the microphone here, but rip that bad boy off. Just a sheet there. And then we got one. I didn't open this from the bottom, did I? I did. I totally did. Um, Blue, we will take a look at the module when Chris gets to that part of the unboxing to confirm, but they do list it as 10 to 12 watts output power on the spec sheet uh, on their website. So we'll see if uh, if that's truth truthful. Usually the, uh, the module kind of spec list on the module itself will will give away a lie but we'll we'll take a look but i'm, I'm fairly certain that this is, a, this is a true 10 to 12 watt diode all right going going full floor here chris that was uh that was definitely upside down oh, <laughs> chris king's here what's up chris Ooh. Maybe, maybe that was the, the smart way to go. Maybe just uh, maybe just angle the camera down a little bit and just unbox it on the floor. It might be easier sure. for you. Yeah, let's do that. Point you back down. There we go. Much thick. All right. And then pop it up here. This is the big reveal. Yeah. That looks perfect. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, that's pretty nice. All right. Where to begin? I guess gantry. All right. Dude, I'm all about the... I'm at this. I'm standing right now. This is me standing. I'm on the standing desk. This looks nice. A little drive shaft. Yeah. And then... There one with power cable. Or is that the, does that section have the, uh, the motherboard installed in it? Uh, yes. Nice. 
How's it? Is it like is it like heavy aluminum? Uh, it's not like incredibly heavy. Mm -hmm. it's actually, it's pretty light, but it feels sturdy. Nice. All right. Matt says, "Woo, Chris, laser stuff. Pew pew uh, pew." Yeah, pew pew. Lasers go pew. Uh, yep. Cool. Cool. Are good. the belts tensioned on those already? Uh, yes, they they do seem tense. The uh, the X tools had like a couple that were fairly tense, and then a few that definitely needed to be tightened. But it looks like oh. this is just like a one to one copy of the X tool. This uh, uh, well. This one's a bit looser. They may need to be tensioned. I wouldn't be surprised. And some tape. Okay, cool. All right, we've got some corners. Yeah, just two. Nice. All right. And power cable. Nope. That's another big piece. How's the the packing in general? Do you feel? I mean, I would feel pretty confident that this thing probably couldn't get beat up in here. It's pretty. Everything's pretty snug in there. Nice. Everything has its own part. There's no metal against metal. Mm -hmm. Uh, it up says what's up everybody this is exciting i saw an ad for this on facebook or youtube a while back and figured it was a scam no oh. no oh, it's here it's not it's here yeah i didn't get shipped any like heads or anything like that it's it's a uh, what's uh what, what are those dude uh hdmi what yeah hdmi cable no way and... Bring it over. let me see yeah an hdmi cable yeah. Let's see. Uh, For what? That's so weird. Uh, maybe it has a screen. Must have like uh, a screen. Well, actually, I think I, I did see. Uh, yes, here. Yeah. It's a little baby screen. Oh, wow. That's so funny, the HDMI cable. Am I too far away? Come a little closer without running over everything I've taken out. All right, we got a couple little pockets here. All right, that is the like your module bag. right there. Is that an anti static bag? Yes, nice. that appears to be an anti static bag. Step four J Max says diodes come so much more complete now, not like an old 3D printer. Solid looking. This, this feels pretty sturdy. But yeah, that had its own, own little place in there. I don't know. One more pocket. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll feel real safe. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Cool, cool. Those are pretty funny looking. Miranda says, Chris, this is cool and all, but can we see the puppy? Uh, <laughs> He's sleeping. I'll, I'll go get him in a minute. <laughs> Maybe once we have this picked up off the ground, he's he's a he's a nibbler. So, uh, yeah, that's I think everything. Yeah. So this is the P10 kit. So this one uh, again retails for six fifty nine ninety nine. This is not the combo unit, uh, and I'll I'll show a couple of those things real quick. Chris, you you've got another fifty minutes, right? Uh, fifty minutes ish. Yes. Do you, do you wanna do you wanna try to? start assembling i mean it? i'll try yeah i'll just pop down on the floor and yeah i mean we've, my... we've, it only took us eight minutes to unbox my manual i mean yeah it's pretty pretty can we simple see, can we get a close-up of the um the diode module real quick and check yes. that out does yes. that have any Actually, writing on it looks pretty cool it did it come came with a sticker step four plum blossom screws m5 58 one piece do not engrave reflective materials such as Mirror, stainless steel coated mirrors, etc. Otherwise, okay. it may damage the laser. Is there any uh, is there any specs written on the module itself? Does it have a sticker with specs on it? It does. Yes. Wavelength. Four fifty five. Uh, Four fifty five plus or minus five nanometers. Uh huh. So blue light. Uh, duration, one millisecond for pulse working. 
Interesting. Frequency is one kilohertz. Also interesting. Maximum laser power, 10 to 11 watts. Mm -hmm. uh, compiles with IEC and then a bunch of numbers. Uh, so warning, don't look at it, you know? Yeah, chill. So it sounds like it is a true 10 watt diode. Uh, it does because it says maximum input of laser is, yeah, 24 volt, 1.5 amp. Yep. And focus mode, fixed focus. This is uh, a dual laser diode, by the way. So there are two diodes in there being combined by That's a combiner, uh, which is pretty cool. So um, I think this will be the first dual laser module that we'll actually like use on the channel. Oh, you got a little, is that a screwdriver in there, dude? Uh, you know, I don't actually know what that is. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess. And it looks like they use kind of the Orter style mounting system with the rail on the yeah. back there. Yeah. yeah so for sure. Be cool. This, um, is a big, this is a big upgrade for you, man. Yeah. Over, no, over this the, definitely looks the heftier than the AL1. Well, let's try to uh, let's try to get it together. Sure. And uh, I'm just gonna catch up on chat here. Uh, J Max says, "Puppy, what breed? What breed did you get, dude?" Uh, it's a full English bulldog. Full English bulldog. Yeah. Matt says, poor Chris, he needs those Logitech wireless headphones. Yes. And uh, Beam It Up says, glad to see this brand isn't just vaporware. Is this the 20 watt or the P10? A P10? Because that's, yeah, this would be the P10, Beam It. Okay. Step one, lay everything out. Yeah. Sure. Right? Sure. Done. Check. What's next? <laughs> Actually, you know what I don't see? Hmm. I don't see any screws. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Check, check. Better dig around in that foam. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Where, where could it hide? Uh, I found the power cable to the X-Tool was in like a secret foam compartment under the rest of the foam. I mean, there were a lot of secret foam compartments, but... It's not on the inside of any of the gantry shafts? Nope. Hold on a second here. Oh man, if they didn't ship you uh they didn't ship you screws, dude, that's a big problem. Here we go, look. All right, disappearing. Blue says, if it's dual diodes, then yes, almost certainly 10 watt optical power. My Niji had the same sort of setup, but the diode lost a whole lot of power after about 20 hours. Weird, weird. Good to know, because Kyle will be reviewing the Niji soon. Did you find him? I found everything. Okay, good, good. This was, we faked, we faked the box opening. I secretly opened it in another room. Yeah. And then taped it back up because... Alex wanted to live stream it. Well, Everything's fine. Okay. As long as they sent you the screws. <laughs> Everything's fine. In addition, we have a power block and a baggie with everything I need to put this together. Yeah, I was curious you didn't mention the uh, the power brick. <laughs> yes. Yep. I can turn it on. Got some wood acrylic. Miranda says, I was going to say, you guys just revealed the secret. Like, anybody actually believed that Chris would get something like this in the mail and not immediately tear it open? I did. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got it last night. People like unboxings. They want to see how things are packed. Yeah. I put everything back in pretty close to how. <laughs> so what else is in that bag now? Because we're ripping uh, a bunch yes, of no, new I'm stuff going out. So, yep. We got um, screws with steps labeled on it, which is nice. pretty helpful. Yep. That's awesome. I get 
you know, easily confused. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really know what these are. Like little... Are they like testing materials? No, they're like little bracket kind of things. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, ca they're... cable management? Yeah, maybe cable management. It looks like they have little stickies on the back. Mm -hmm. um, so we have step two, step three. Uh, lens cleaner. Dope. Love that. Uh, step one. There's a lot of screws in step one. A screw to my computer. Put that one to the side. Step four. Yep. And then, yeah, just some testing materials and then the little uh, cable management hook things. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Everything. This is a this is kind of your official indoctrination into the channel because this is the first thing that you've been shipped as like kind of part of the laser everything team. That's true. So they That's did true. they did send this to you for free for review. So Chris did not out of pocket this. Just so you guys know, uh, he he's growing up. He's putting his big boy laser everything pants on. I did a little brush. Not really sure what I'll be brushing with it, but. And uh, like we always say, I'll go ahead and disclaim this too. Uh, we were not paid for a review, positive or otherwise. Uh, all of our thoughts about this that you guys are getting right now are completely untampered with. Uh, if, no. if we think this is shit, we will certainly let you know. It It's going to be hard not to love this thing, though. Obviously. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Especially with you coming from the AL1. All right. Perfect, perfect. Back to our instructions now that we have parts. All right. A1, sure, sure. Is, uh, nope, that's B. B. This goes over there. Sure, sure, uh, sure. Gerasimus is asking, does this model come stock with Air Assist? Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, so they have the P10 kit and the P10 combo kit. The P10 kit, which again, I'm just kind of recalling off the top of my head, is uh six in fact i'll just pull it up i'll pull it up for you guys for you guys so you can see it really quick uh so let me pull that up little shaky cam action here thanks it's like a it's like a movie if anybody wanted to get real dizzy but then you can actually see what i'm doing that's why actually most people subscribe to the channel believe it or not uh is to get dizzy yes right i'm just <laughs> hardcore balancing this that's a good spot that seems good yeah decent yeah, yeah just pull the frame a little bit closer to you and right. then you'll be like 100 percent in uh so here's the website guys and um we have the p10 just kind of standard here at 659.99 and all you get with this is the laser itself so if you want the uh the air assist and the rotary for this you have to get their combo set. This is the P10 combo set here. And uh, this is $849.99. And this one comes with the air assist uh, ready to go as well as the rotary. So um, if you do get the standard one that doesn't have the air assist or the rotary, you are looking at some extra cost. Uh, for example, here's the air assist. Uh, that's $120 on its own. And then we have the uh, the rotary here. That's 139 bucks on its own. So it's sounding like the bundle is actually a pretty good deal if those are things you you would want. And then they also have the honeycomb table, so you can get a. Which Chris, I feel like this, like we need we need to get you because uh, this this actually has like a honeycomb bed, uh, and it's in line with yes prices from other <laughs> sellers of this kind of stuff. Like I believe the Creality one. That they sell with their lasers is a hundred bucks uh last time kyle was telling me so um that those things are available uh but they do not come in this uh like stock out of the box so those are extra things that, that you would have to pick up down the road definitely for you dude at the very least you should be looking at this air assist kit yeah which, which is 160 so. bucks which isn't too bad uh but no, you know you, you, you've been doing you're doing a lot of cutting uh, so. Yes, I have. Um, I skipped a few things that was in the bag. I had a USB stick, probably with instructions on okay. it. Okay. Um, zip ties, and then wrench and, um, you know, whatever they're called. Yep. I got it. I got it. Everything's fine. So, let's see if we 
second. Matt Just says you went there. to the Pew Pew School of Live Streaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Doing my best, doing my best. I'm no Alex. All right. So step one is oh, to get my yep. cord out of the way. I yep. was just about to say that's going to annoy you later if you were threaded through the. Uh, let's see how. Ooh. Oh, that sounds. Uh, that sounds like good snappy that tolerances good. on that. that yeah. Oh, good. Oh, I like that. All right, we're in business. Drasmus says the honeycomb beds are awesome, especially if you cut out some uh, eye-shaped push in material holders. So you can get like little material holders that you can use to like kind of snap into the bed. Very nice. I think I need a bigger table to put this on. Oh yeah, I don't think that's going to fit on the table the AL1 is on for sure. That but you a, you wanted a bigger workspace. I did. I did. That's a future Chris problem. I would not I would not uh I would not cut on the carpet. Oh no, it'll be fine on the carpet. Just kidding. Just kidding. Matt uh, Matt also likes that uh that tolerance from the pieces snapping together. Yeah, that felt good. And uh he's asking is that uh steel rod your little drive shaft did you put that in yet because you you probably aren't going to be able to get that in after the fact did the instructions mention putting that in yet no it'll go in yeah okay look at that uh no here i can even yeah i'll definitely one. go in order because you might you it's, might uh, just to uh, put the screws in everything's fine everything's fine okay okay i think we'll see let's see drive shaft oh it's just a little Andrew says uh, Matt would ask about the, the rod. <laughs> All right. Poor Matt. Although I keep getting distracted and losing my, my screw. Here it is. Okay, first screw. We'll get this thing together in no time. All right. Are these, uh, I'm, I was going to ask, but it's kind of self evident now. These are all uh, hex wrench mm. screws. Yes, it appears that way. Cool. Never watched, had a bunch of people watching me build something before. There's a lot of added pressure. Yeah, well, it'll look good in the live stream for the review. We'll time lapse it. Okay. <laughs> 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 Those <laughs> people will think that I, I yeah, th you're, you're have some sort of clue. This like I said, dude, much. like it doesn't, I mean, the thing is like, you could build like 50 of these and the build process is going to be different like every time so that's true well we're going to start with the ones on the side matt says ikea has some great tables that are great workspaces and also cheap enough if it gets destroyed you won't feel bad Ooh, that's nice i got two little tiny tables at big lots and they were like 30 bucks and that's what i've been using so far but nice um yeah. yeah, dude, Big Lots is the Ikea for even poorer people. That's me. <laughs> I think that's where I got all of my furniture from ages 18 to like 28. It works. I've probably been in Big Lots maybe three times in my entire life. And every time it's a party. Beam it up saying that uh, there's new word on the street that they have a quad beam, Niji, that should be out sometime soonish, but you'll need to upgrade your board to a 24 volt. Yeah, when we unboxed the uh, Off Ferro Laser 2 that came with their 10 watt module, I was really disappointed because you have to upgrade the board in order to even use their 10 watt module, uh, which really sucks. I, I'm not looking forward to doing that. Um, and we recorded an unboxing for that, uh, Jimmy and I. Uh, but I haven't had the chance to edit it yet. That one was a, a little more produced. Uh, it wasn't a live stream. So that'll be going up soon, too. A lot of diode stuff to look at lately. It's the holiday season, so all of the uh, the diode companies are making their big push. So we're trying to bring in as much as we can now while the uh, the diode companies are feeling generous. 
so we can give you guys fair impressions about them because it's all going to dry up in January. <laughs> That's true. So if you've noticed a lot of diode or new laser content here uh, in the at the end of the year, that's that's why. I'm gonna be impressed if you finish this build. Uh, yeah. I mean, I have until noon. I would, I would hate to stop uh, at noon. I'm on the west coast, but um, yeah, I would hate to stop right in the middle of this. It seems like you're making good time. Yeah, I definitely am going to recommend starting on the screws on the outside mm. uh, and then do the top ones just to push everything together yeah. and then hit from the top. That's what I've discovered so far. But yeah, we're cruising. Drasimus says, I have a 20 watt diode and I decided to purchase a metal enclosure with laser blocking windows. It makes a huge difference exhausting the smoke outside and you also don't need to wear glasses when closed. I didn't see a, I didn't see an enclosure on a Tezzer's website, but there are a lot of generic ones popping up on Amazon now that are like tent style. So they're like, I don't know, they're like Mylar or whatever. Some kind of weird, thick, synthetic material that then they like zip open and zip closed. And those are pretty cheap. So even like something like that could help. Yeah, I think an enclosure would would definitely help. I feel like with diodes, the laser is so much more in your face. It's just it's just I mean, they're all in your face, but with diode, it's visible light. So it's a lot more noticeable for sure. Yeah, uh, but that's what makes that that's what makes the IR lasers dangerous you know it's like yeah you're like oh everything's fine i can't yeah. see anything but it's sitting there messing you up all the meanwhile you know wait wait a second you old can't see sliding anything down. oh yeah yep <laughs> i feel like it should definitely make that noise i'm jealous i want to go to the shop and build my x tool now do it i don't know where i'm gonna put that dude i don't think that's gonna fit on the workbenches that i have at the shop either yeah, I mean this is this is why I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with <laughs> I have that big table, but the fiber's on it. I could put the fiber on the The uh, fiber is tiny. I I'm pretty sure this has a larger footprint than the, the EM Smart does. Yeah. I could I could do that. Have you done anything with the EM Smart lately? Um, have I done anything with the EM Smart lately? Oh, well, keep screwing. Like you're I on did. a timer. Keep screwing. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you're right. All right. Uh, I've just been doing little anodized aluminum cards. They're fun, dude. They're just fun. And, uh, yeah, with the whole. My hope for you is like with the card boxes or the lanterns, like you can use them to make like flourishes, you know, like cool little just like decoration bits to go on them. Yeah, I mean that's that's uh, the hope. Like right now, I I feel like I completely stopped using the AL one because yeah. it's just so time consuming. Yeah. So no no new lanterns lately. Well, I have all three of them here. I I finished one the other day. Yeah. Um, but I had cut that one out like the week earlier. I just uh, I just did the whole gluing process. Uh, I think yesterday. Matt says you should uh, hop in voice chat with him sometime and you can figure out some cool stuff for magic and D&D. Matt's into that. Sure. Yeah, happily. Um, I play Kingdom and I've been wanting to make like custom Kingdom cards to hand out to people. To It's like Mafia, if you've ever played like Mafia or hmm. uh, what's that uh, other game? It's like definitely not Hitler or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know, yeah, there's a guy hiding amongst a group of people and you want to kill them. It's pretty uh, much. Ronald Kremer says, you got a new laser, but you don't have new pants. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, Chris was, this way. <laughs> Chris, 
Chris was sent this diode to review, uh, but Levi's has not reached out to ask if we would review any jeans for them lately. So that's right. Uh, you know, if they want to, I'm yeah, guy. She, yeah, uh, Levi's, if you're watching, Chris would happily review uh, some pants for you. Would you settle for Wranglers? Uh, no, no, not a Wrangler, <laughs> not a Wrangler kind of guy. I just got four new pairs of jeans because uh, I'm, I'm getting fat and I can't button any of my old jeans. And I ended up getting the Walmart George brand, uh, but they're actually pretty nice, dude. Pretty uh, cozy. I, I think I got these and my other pair of jeans that I, I like a lot from Old Navy. Mm -hmm. like yeah, that. Old Navy is good. That's where Miranda gets her denim. Yeah. Denim, you know, we all need it. Ronald right. read about a pair from the 1870s that was worth about $87,000. What? A pair? Yeah. I think they were from like an old mining town or something, you know, so they were like historic. Interesting. Are Somebody we like are... dug them out of a coal mine or some shit. We are finished with the side screws and we are moving to the top. At the very least, I think you'll finish. I mean, the gantry is really all that's left. Gantry and then uh, the laser yeah. module. I, it's basically uh, together. Corners. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like it requires that much setup, but yeah, it's just the uh, side. Uh, so are the corners the for the, the gantry arm? You know, I have no clue. I haven't really searched through this yeah. instruction manual past step well, one. That's all right. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Uh, yeah, let me just check out step two. Check all right. Just okay. time update for you. You've got 28 minutes. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. It's just lots of, lots of screws and stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've learned nothing. Oh, they go on the bottom? Weird. They, like, rest on this. Like they screw in, and then it just the whole, the whole thing oh, sits on it. Are there four Weird. of them? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense because you can't run this. Uh, yeah, that does make sense. Yeah. It needs to be lifted up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We know how things work. Uh, I would I would put a countdown timer, Matt, but I want to use this video in the final review that Chris does as like him assembling it as a time lapse. So I'm trying to keep the screen clear. Otherwise I would. I mean, I could always take it back apart and put it back together. I know, but but that I sucks. Don't do that. Yeah, nobody... <laughs> I don't really know which one of these I'm supposed to be using, but Yeah, I'm going to have to build the X tool soon. I've been busy with unboxings. I have the, I still have to unbox the Laser Master 3. And uh, we have three rotary tools we have the Mansfield, the Pie Burn, and the Roto Boss at the shop. Those are simple to unbox. I'll probably do them all in one video, but. Um, okay, step just one. A lot of unboxing to do. Step one done. Yeah. We also Stop. did I haven't edited it yet, but we, we also did the light uh light object chiller unboxing, Jimmy and I. Uh sat down on the couch and took that sucker out of the box. That thing is awesome. I can't wait to show that to you guys. All right. Uh, step that's pretty two, cool too. Install the belt tension adjustment nut. Oh dear. Yeah. Okay, so we want it facing just like it is now. And they're just going to screw into the back in those two empty spots. Perfect. Easy. Simple. Cover girl. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you rocking, rocking that Cloud 9 hoodie? Uh, yeah, I'm not a Cloud 9 fan anymore, but I'm rocking the hoodie. I see it. Who's the new team? Who's the one you're all about now? I'm, I'm EG and Hundred Thieves. Hundred Thieves. How's my liquid doing? Uh, they didn't make worlds. Ah, oh, imagine. 
Yeah. Were they angry? Yeah. They were probably angry. Uh, well, they spent, I think, the most money a team has ever spent in North America on a on a team. Oh and then, and then lost. like a super team, and then they lost and didn't make Worlds. That's funny. I don't know. Do I screw this in all the way? It's supposed to provide tension, right? But I don't know, man. That's a good question. It doesn't say. Oh, my God. Do we just keep going? I don't know. Maybe I stop there. No, we'll just keep going. Doesn't feel like anything's getting more. Oh, Ronald's less. asking while you figure that out. Watch your mic. Ronald's asking. Sorry. By the way, it is is it a known issue that the Param converter does not convert a light burn library uh, on a Windows 10 machine? I tried two. I tried on two machines to convert a certain library for a lens, one lens to another, but it gives the same values unless I'm doing things wrong again. Uh, that is a good question, Ronald. I am not 100% sure off the top of my head right now. Uh, you can either at Shark on the Discord uh, or reach out to him uh, under uh, David. Oh, what's David's last name? I call him Shark all the time, and I don't remember his last name. Uh, Baby Shark. Yeah, do 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 do. Um, Jesus, I don't remember. Uh, I reach out to him on Discord uh, and ask him. That's the that's the best way because he knows the software. So if there's a bug in the software, we should let him know for sure. Uh, Kyle seemed to successfully pre-convert uh, a bunch of the libraries, though. That much I do know. So um, the newest LMA parameter library download on the website includes every wattage and almost every lens uh pre-converted for you so i would i would check that out uh, and maybe see how that works just so that you uh That's can compare because cool. kyle didn't report any problems to me when he was pre-converting it for the lma members so that might be uh that might be a way to a way to go interesting Oh, the belts. The belts are going to slow you down. They sure are. We'll just tip. Oh, ow. I'll do a little research too after the stream, Ronald, and let you know what I find. I just, I don't, re I don't recall hearing any issues about it. So it could be a recent build or uh, some other issue. Um, but I'll certainly, I'll certainly look into it and see what I can figure out. I'm not totally sure where this is supposed to go. Well, that's not good. Let's see. Do they have a section on belts? Nope. Did it like fall out? Yep. Is there a gear it needs to just be like wrapped around? I think so. But then wrap around and, and do what? David Christian. Thank you, Miranda. But before you message him, she says... Please make sure you have the latest download. Yes. Which again, we have linked on the LMA. And it sounds like Ronald knows where the GitHub is. So that's, you know, under the releases tab where you would want to pick that up. Oh, I see. That's not good. That's not good. Oh man, I wish I was there, dude. Are you looking at the other side to compare? Is there? Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, hmm, how do I show this? Oh, here it is. That's yep. what I'm missing. Whoop. It's this little guy. Goes Yikes. around the... Well, this is just real bad now. Uh, but yes, goes around this cable. Please don't fall out. I won't know how to put you back. Okay, I need to go get pliers, I think. Okay. <laughs> go for it, man. Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. Uh, the pliers are coming out. This is where we destroy the machine. I 
I can't tell if that's facetious, Matt, but I feel like it is. Okay. All right, surgery. Surgery. Once I find it again. Did you put it down? Is it? <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, no. What did I do with it? Does anybody remember what I did? <laughs> I, don't know. I wish I could rewind. I can't rewind. All right, let's see. Let's see. It couldn't have gone far. Ronald says, uh, attach it with a hammer. Attach what with a hammer? <laughs> Just all of it. This... Thank you, Ronald. Mm -hmm. Did you find? Did you find the piece yet? No. Nope. Ronald says you're welcome. Oh, I found it. Hey. I knew if I just kept messing with it, I would find it. I, I'm watching your hands now. Okay. Yes, it's right here. We have to open that and then close it. Oh, is it like a little tooth biter? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's supposed to very snugly wrap around this thing. It looks like it just got pulled out. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to just like open this with my hands. There's a, okay, I'm going to try not to cut this thing in half. Yes. Ronald says he's from the Netherlands and they don't really read manuals. Oh, I see. So they just do everything with a hammer? I, I suppose. Whatever works. This is going to slow us down, I think. All right, let's see. I think he's right. I think we have to hammer this. Just hammer it open. Nope. And now I have to go on a 10 mile run. Because my buddy just got here. I think we have to wrap up. And I will Bummer. do this later. But I did well, get it open. That's good. So we'll continue with that. For sure. Next time. You yeah. could just you could just leave it there and we can stream again later. <laughs> uh yeah, we could. If you want to. Yeah. We can we can chat about it. Uh yeah, sure. Uh Miranda puts have to in quotes go on a ten mile run. I do. You know. Obligated. It was successfully unboxed. Matt it says. was. That was yeah. the point. Yep, that was the point. This was bonus. So it's bonus, and I think this should be good to go when we come back. Nice. All right. So, well, if you want to do it off cam uh, as a time lapse, that's fine. If you want to stream again later, just hit me up, and uh, you know we can we can uh, finish putting it together if Evan is into that or whatever. Sure. Perfect. And uh, either way, you guys will see it soon enough. Yes, they will. Chris is like, I have to go, but I'm going to keep doing this. I do. I do have to go. I just wanted to see if I had the potential, which this looks pretty good, guys. Okay, good. I like it. All right. Sounds good. Cool, man. Oh. Well, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out for this uh, little live unboxing experience here. Looks like Chris successfully completed his surgery, so we should be good to go. Uh don't forget to smash the like button if you got any value out of this uh, little live stream here. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. 
hit the notification bell so you get notified when we come back to finish this project or uh you know publish the review or anything else that we do on the channel if you love the channel and you haven't already consider go going to sign up over at masters.lasereverything.net it's the number one way to support the channel make sure we can continue doing this kind of stuff for you uh, we sure do appreciate it and uh that's about it leave a comment after the show guys let us know what you think of the Atezer so far, and uh, we'll be back with a lot more of this for you very, very soon. Have a great day, guys. May or may not see you later. See ya. See ya.